everyone, and welcome to Tinkerman RC. Today, I want to share with you where we are on part one of the Skymaster A4 Skyhawk build video. Let's go ahead and talk about the two fuselage halves. As you can see, the four bolts that are used to secure the two halves together. The airplane comes with uh, four and a half sections of the fuselage, so we have those secure. Moving back aft on the tail, we're going to pass the speed brake. As you can see, here's our speed brake. It's installed with the cylinder, the air cylinder, and I installed a panel to make it look more scale. Flight metal at the back, tail section, and put some rivets in the flight metal to make it look more scale. We have our horizontal and vertical stabilizers secured and in place with our servos rigged and set, so all that's completed. Moving up forward, let's go ahead and talk about the nose landing gear and some of the components that go with it. First thing we're going to talk about, the A4 has a really unique feature, the nose gear steering. The nose gear steering is controlled hydraulically. So inside this cylinder there is fluid. This servo drives this cylinder and that's going to push the fluid to turn your nose gear wheel left or right. There's a cylinder installed on the bottom, it's the same exact size. Back aft here you can see this is a cylinder that controls the extension of the nose landing gear inner strut. So you add air on the left and the right hand sides and that's going to control the strut extension. Alright, showing you down below, you can see when we manually pull the strut, okay, that's the maximum extension. That's going to be again controlled by air. And then you're going to set your lower extension by air. So we'll show you that and we'll talk about that more once we get the landing gear system completed. I'll show you how that works. But that's a really nice feature I want to sh you know, share with you guys. Okay, the panels that you see here uh, I custom made and they're going to set inside the fuselage. That's going to be our floor for all the components that are going to be mounted to these panels. And just to give you some example, I, I custom made those panels and I also custom installed some uh, wood braces in there where those panels are going to set on. As you can see up forward, um, I've already got one panel installed and I have our air cylinder installed on the bottom. Alright, so that's just uh, some of the components that I've got completed on the airplane I wanted to share with everyone. We have a lot more to do um, and as we get components installed on the airplane, I will uh, show you and talk about them and show you how we got them installed. I appreciate everyone watching. Take care out there and happy flying from Tinkerman RC.